they saw a 25% increase in foot traffic, mm -hmm. and they also saw an increase in the amount of groceries sold online, you know, where analysts thought that they would actually have trouble doing that. Tell yeah, us what happened. Analysts were actually concerned that the two brands would cannibalize each other and that sales might go down in both places on Amazon.com and also in Whole Foods retail locations. It's actually quite the opposite. We saw that foot traffic went up about 25 percent, and we also saw that these 2,000 new SKUs that Amazon added from Whole Foods almost sold out entirely. Only 7 percent of the SKUs remain. So, you know, you and I have talked about how I prefer to do my grocery shopping in person. I want to see my, get my ripe avocados. <laughs> um, you know, at the same time, you know, some people are saying there could be a fundamental consumer shift in how people shop for groceries happening right now. You know, where will the chips fall? How much will happen in physical stores? How much will happen online? So several experts that I spoke with today said we're really on the precipice of a, a fundamental shift in consumer behavior that consumers are really going to start feeling more comfortable now buying uh, groceries online. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that Amazon previously had a wide range of groceries, but there was no brand recognition with those groceries. There wasn't that sense of trust. You didn't really know where the produce was coming from. And one of the things that Whole Foods has done an incredible job of um, in all the years that it's been in business is building consumer trust. And it's, it's created an identity as a, as a healthy organic chain that really vets every product. So now Amazon, by buying Whole Foods, really just takes that trust under its umbrella and consumers are going to feel more more comfortable. Actually, last year, um, less than 5% of people purchased uh, groceries online, and already this year, we're seeing that number rise to 13%. So how much of this traffic surge has to do about price? Does it all come down to how cheap you can get it? I think that's important. I think also what played a big role was all the press and, and marketing that happened in the last couple of weeks. Uh, there's a lot of excitement about this merger, and I think that's really what we can learn from what's happened in the past couple of weeks is that this, this merger between Amazon and Whole Foods in consumers' eyes is a good thing. So what do we actually know about how well Amazon Prime Fresh, its online grocery service, is, is doing? So Amazon's very tight-lipped about that. Um, I'll have to get back to you with those numbers. I, I don't know how that is doing.